Hi, this is Andy, and I just wanted to share with you today a couple cards that I created using Perfect Pearls. It's something that I've had for a couple of years, and I had never opened it. So the other day, I came across it, and I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to try this. I did not know anything about it, but uh, it's not hard to learn. And um, with this card here, I used my cuddle bug and the Darcy folder the one with the birds and the cages and I used that with black cardstock and then I applied black ink to the card just dabbed it all around and then I wiped it and then I put um, perfect pearls when I say wiped it I just took a tissue and kind of smoothed it around so it wasn't just blotchy it was kind of smoothed around and then I added the copper perfect pearls and used my heat gun and um, I really like the finish I really do and after you know it cools down after the heat gun I did go with a tissue and went over it to get any excess off because if you don't you may have a little bit of uh, residue still remaining, which you don't want someone to open up your card and get their fingers with a little bit of residue. Not, not a good idea. Now that part that goes around the corner there, I created using my little punch. And then I just took black and brown ink to kind of give it an aged look. The tag I made using my tag punch along with my little sentiment. I always like to use those. And um, the butterfly is from the Spellbinders. And you just take, I used black cardstock. And this here is what you use to cut out the form. And once you get your form cut out, you have, oh, I think it's four different butterflies to choose from. And you just put your butterfly inside of the folder, put it through the cuddle bug, and um, after that, I did the same process. Just inked it, wiped it, and then used the perfect pearls. Heat, gave it the heat gun to emboss it with the heat and that's what I got right there and I did the front and the back on this butterfly because I wanted the wings up so I wanted that copper to show on both sides I did not want it just on the front and black cardstock on the back now um, I'll give you uh, uh, show you how I did the butterflies this one here I used the Darcy folder, the wood look. And then I used the spell binders and the perfect pearls and white ink and white cardstock for these butterflies. Amber, can you help me? I'm going to need two hands. So... this one here. So what I did was I took my black ink and I just pat it and take a little bit of tissue, make sure I spread it around and now that perfect pearls comes with the brushes. There's two different ones. One's more finer detail. So once you get this pretty good, and I did one side at a time. So I did the front, heat embossed it, flipped it over, did the other side. Now, depending on how much you want on this, I'm going to get my heat gun. And Flip it. 
do the other side. After it cools down, like I said, I like to take the tissue over it to get any excess off. Here, I did this twice to get more of a copper look to it. This has a copper overtone, which is nice, but I really wanted it to look like pressed copper, so I did apply it again. And I'll show you to this side here. either way, but I don't want to stick this on my ink pad, and then I'll have the copper glitter sticking to that. A lot worse than what it's going to do in the glam grant. <laughs> are going to attention. We have two puppies. One's a collie and one's a German Shepherd and they're about five months old right now. And they're as sweet as anything. But boy, they know when I get on this video that they want attention. All right. more of a copper look to it. And like I said, I will wipe it and if I'm not happy, I'm going to go do it again. But because it didn't get enough heat, I'm sure I'm going to have a problem with it. And then, because when I do butterflies, I like my butterflies to look like they are doing something. Uh, so I will give them a little bit of a game. And that's all there is to it. But, like I said, I've had this Perfect Pearls for a few years now. Never used it. And it's pretty neat. And the white was really nice, too. I, I was really tickled with the way that turned out. And it's great for embossing. I did do it through the sheet, the wood I went through and did it on there also. So there's a little bit of a glimmer. I didn't put that much on it, though. 
Well, I hope I've given you some ideas, and uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate you watching, and I do have other videos. Uh, I enjoy crafting, card making, enjoy eight grandchildren. <laughs> I, I used to have a toy store, vintage toy store. Uh, so you're going to see all kinds of things on here. And uh, keep coming back. And oh, here's some butterflies here. But keep coming back. You never know what I might be putting up here on YouTube. I'm just having too much fun with this. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.